So yes, people, I'm doing selfie right here. I'm in New Cross, okay. I'm in New Cross, right? I've just passed a lady up there in a dog's kennel or whatever you call it. She said she's from Somalia. She is um, 35 years old. Boy, man, you can't ride on the pavement. She's 35 years old. And I'm thinking about myself. And myself is Mervyn Miles who has done so much for this country in terms of my contributions. I've just lost my husband at 101. Oh. And my husband was neglected in King's College Hospital. Yeah. I used to work at the workplace nursery where I had the first nervous breakdown after the death of my brother, 56 years old, with cancer. The day after I went to Winrush Vigil, the 6th of April, I went into the hospital and I found my husband sliding out of bed. It's the death that is bringing him. That's where he reads. And I call for support. And instead of me getting the support, the nurse, because shortage of staff everywhere, called white security for manhandle me. I ended up in accident and emergency the next I mean, day. I mean, I mean, oh. And then the next day my husband died. I did not see my husband again from they took me from his bedside. Hmm until he died and he died six hours before they called me they wait for john to come in and i'm telling my story and i'm standing right here god be my judge what they done to these young children yeah. yeah and to know that my son come over to support me and i called for support because my door was being kicked again and police come to question my son to ask him they heard he's leaving the house is he working the rest of the story must be told. Go subscribe to Mervy Lee Myers YouTube. We're coming from Dramology in the Moonshot, where leaf nurseries have place in there. And as I said to my friend, I was depressed. The depression is gone now. I go to phases. And I remember writing to Dilly Sipon Ipton on the eve of Mother and Sunday, 2014, 2015. I can tell you the day, the 14th of March. And I said, I am depressed. I'm slowly dying of torture. Ten years later, I'm still even more fucking depressed. And they're trying to murder, section and kidnap me. And now Housing for Women is saying they're going to evict me and imprison me. The truth must be told. Yeah? Thank you, my brother. Mm. Yeah? Okay, long way.